Now let us uh, measure the waveform for the AM output. So here we are going to use the cursor option. So click on the cursor. Cursors. So here it is displaying X1, X2, Y1, Y2 for measuring the peak to peak amplitude and the time period. So now I am going to fix Y1 cursor. Fix the Y1 cursor and move this cursor button. So here Y1 is moving. So I am going to fix the negative peak and then fix Y2 cursor. Fix Y2 cursor. Move the cursor button. So Y2 cursor I am going to place it at the positive peak. So this difference, this difference del Y is the peak to peak value of B max. That is twice B max is 1.618. We are, we are having del y which is the difference of the two voltages which is 2 Vmax 1.618 so we have noted 2 Vmax equal to 1 point nearly 63 rounded right? and uh, now let us measure beam in measurement so I am going to again use the cursor option place y2 cursor move the y2 cursor y1 cursor Place it in the positive peak of Vmin and now Y1 cursor. Move it. Move the Y1 cursor. So now this difference del Y is nearly 1 point. Nearly 1.1. So which is which is 1.137 so 2 Vmin is 1.137 so we will calculate Vmin as 0.5685 so accordingly we are calculating the practical M value which is Vmax minus Vmin by Vmax plus Vmin which is around 0.178 theoretical M value is Vm by Vc which is 2 by 50 it is 0.133 the theoretical and the practical values are matching so this is for the under modulation piece now let us try critical modulation and over modulation for critical modulation m is equal to 1 so vm and vc values are equal so now let us set the vm and vc values equal let us set both vm and vc values are same voltages so channel 2 is already 15 volt channel 1 i am going to change the amplitude as 15 volt so let us set the amplitude 15 volt peak to peak now let us observe the waveform so this is for the under modulation case this is the this is how the signal will look for the under modulation case our beam in will be very less beam in will be exactly in, in really volt range or it will be in zero volt so this is for the under modulation case so now let us try over modulation so for over modulation vm should be greater than vc so now let us set vm value channel 1 i am going to set it as 20 volt peak to peak and uh, VC value is 15 volt peak to peak. Now let us observe the output. So this is for the over modulation case. So we can see the signal is completely distorted. So it is difficult to recover the original amplitude message signal from the modulated cell.